students i hope you all are doing well in this section of my video i will be going through an important concept and topic of distance time graph which is a topic of chapter number 8 ncert class 9 now what is a distance time graph distance time graph is simply a graph plotted between the distance on vertical axis and time on horizontal axis what is the use of such kind of graphs with the help of such kind of graphs we can determine that whether the given type of motion is uniform or non uniform hence going through the values and plotting different values of distances and time on our coordinate axis and looking through the graph we can calculate that whether the given type of motion is uniform or non uniform let us go through an example which shows a distance time graph which is plotted on the coordinate axis i have plotted distance on vertical axis and time on horizontal axis these are the pair of values which i have taken into account for the calculation of values and determination whether the given motion is uniform or non uniform as you can observe on time axis 2 4 6 8 10 12 in seconds 2 4 6 8 10 12 similarly corresponding values on distance axis 5 10 15 20 25 30 5 10 15 20 25 30 25 30 so you can observe by making such a graph how we can go through a type of motion looking through the graph it observes to me that this graph is a straight line logically i can say by going through this graph that if it is a straight line it represents a uniform motion but sometimes it may happen that a graph looks straight but does not represents uniform motion so calculating values is helpful in going through uniformity and non uniformity the very important point or very first point of calculation in this graph is the slope of graph which is represented by m now how we calculate slope consider this point let this point be p1 this point be p2 this point be p3 this point be p4 this point be p5 and this point be p6 take any random point let us suppose i choose a point p3 and the slope corresponding to point 3 is m3 now how do we take the value of slope we take the vertical value dividing it by a corresponding horizontal value so as i have taken point 3 point 3 has value of 15 on distance axis and 6 on time axis therefore 15 by 6 on calculating it you have 3 to the 6 3 5 of 15 5 by 2 gives the value as 2.5. So slope at point 3 you have calculated 2.5. Take another random point. Take point P2. 10 by 4. Let the slope be represented by m2. Vertical value by horizontal value. 10 by 4 will again give you the value 2.5 take another random value i take p5 slope with respect to p5 is 25 upon 10 25 by 10 which again gives you a value 2.5 so you can observe that i have taken random three points and had calculated slope on those points on calculating the slope you can observe that you are getting the value of slope as constant at same point at sorry at different points hence you can suggest that this represents a uniform motion reason the slope at different point is same hence it is a uniform motion there is another way by which we can calculate slope that is by taking any two consecutive values let us check by the same means 
I'll take 0.3 and 0.2. Let the slope with respect to 0.3 and 0.2 is m dash. Now I have corresponding two values on distance axis, a point p3 and a slope corresponding to 0.3 is m3. Now how do we take the value of slope? We take the vertical value dividing it by a corresponding horizontal value. So as I have taken 0 0.3, 0 0.3 has value of 15 on distance axis and 6 on time axis. Therefore, 15 by 6 on calculating it, you have 3 to the 6, 3 fives of 15, 5 by 2 gives the value as 2.5. So slope at point 3, you have calculated 2.5. Take another random point, take point P2, 10 by 4. Let the slope be represented by M2, vertical value by horizontal value. 10 by 4 will again give you the value 2.5. Take another random value, I take P5, slope with respect to P5 is 25 upon 10, 25 by 10 which again gives you a value 2.5. So you can observe that I have taken random 3 points and had calculated slope on those points. On calculating the slope, you can observe that you are getting the value of slope as constant at same point, sorry, at different points. Hence, you can suggest that this represents a uniform motion. Reason? The slope at different point is same. Hence, it is a uniform motion. There is another way by which we can calculate slope that is by taking any two consecutive values. Let us check by the same means. I'll take 0.3 and 0.2. Let the slope with respect to 0.3 and 0.2 is m dash. Now I have corresponding two values on distance axis. Corresponding values on distance axis or vertical axis as 15 and 10. Therefore, 15 minus 10 corresponding values are 6 with respect to 15 and 4 with respect to 10 6 minus 4 15 minus 10 is 5 6 minus 4 is 2 again calculating the ratio you will get the slope is 2.5 this I have just only taken the exemplar. You can take any combination of point. That is, you can take point P2 and P4. You can also take point P1 and P5. Calculate the slope in the similar manner. And you can check by yourself that whether the given slope is coming to 2.5 or not. Since you can observe that all the slopes share a common value. Hence, it represents a uniform motion. Let us suppose that any slope which we have calculated gives any other value which is different from the value calculated. Let us suppose any slope m double dash comes out to be 3. So as you can say that 3 and 2.5 both are different values. In such cases the slope is not uniform hence the motion is also a non-uniform motion. So you can just observe with the given values, with the given curve, that whether the given type of motion is uniform or not. So this concept of distance time relation share two basic significances. The very first significance is that with the help of slope, you can calculate speed at any given instances. As you can observe, there are multi multiple points. So at each point, you can calculate different value of slope and at each slope 
you will get the different value of speeds if the speeds come uniform again it will represent a uniform motion so the basic significance of distance time graph is the slope at any instant of time represents the value of speed at that particular instant second important point with the help of slope you can also calculate that whether the given kind of motion is uniform or non uniform with the help of illustration you have just observed that similar value of slopes represents non uniform motion while this uh, sorry uniform motion and dissimilar values represents non uniform motion so this was actually the whole logic and concept of distance time graph i hope you have understood this concept well you can practice this with the help of using multiple values that is you can fit in multiple values here plot in the graph here and after plotting the graph you can calculate <coughs> slope at different points if the slope is coming same you can represent the motion as uniform motion or if the slope is coming different you can represent it a non uniform motion just the basic two points to remember is the significance which i have already explained in my part i hope you have gone through this topic well thank you